We're hungry. <laughs> so, hola, bienvenidos a la cocina de Mayra y Delia. So, today we're gonna do um, the recipe of the typical, main typical um, food plate in Puerto Rico that is called is mofongo. And the mofongo consists of um, plantains, mashed plantains, and the people here, um, you can find it in any supermarket. Um, this is the people call it big bananas. It's in the section where is, are the bananas. So next to the bananas, you're gonna find the plantains and- uh, And they need to be very green. The greener, the better. The greener, the better. But here, sometimes it's hard to find it. And then um, I'm gonna do the mofongo. I'm gonna do a salsa criolla with it and then we're gonna do uh, for protein we're gonna do shrimps but you can put any shrimp, uh, protein that you want it can be chicken it can be beef uh any seafood or vegetables <laughs> or veggies that yeah, you, you want to make vegetarian or tofu any protein yeah so uh, i'm gonna start uh, with the um, plantain you need to cut it like this see you do it like this and then you peel the green the skin, skin. Mm -hmm. and i don't know if you can see let me move this and then you peel the plantain and you remove the skin um sometimes easy sometimes no it depends you can use a knife to peel it off if it doesn't work with your hand yes and then you um cut it in these pieces this type this size it's about two inches in diameter and it then, could be two to three inches yeah and then you deep fry this so i'm gonna cut the plantain Lo voy a picar. So what we're doing here is once you have the plantain all peeled off what we're gonna do is fry it. In this instance, we're gonna fry it in coconut oil to make it a little bit healthier. And coconut oil goes lovely with plantains. It just tastes like Caribbean. You could do it for a, a uh, how do you call the flat one? Tostón, Tostones. which is another recipe with plantains. Or in this instance, when we do the mofongo, after we cook them, that they're completely fried, we're gonna put them in here and we're gonna mash them with seasonings. After everything is mashed and well seasoned, we're gonna top it off with your choice of protein and veggies and we're gonna put it on top and it's gonna mix with the, the uh, mashed plantain. So it's gonna be lovely. Yeah, and then for the uh, criolla salsa, I, as you can see here, I smashed here uh, three, um, how do you say? Garlic cloves. Garlic clove, pedacitos de ajo. You smash them and then I'm gonna do now the salsa criolla. The ingredients for the salsa criolla is gonna be Smashed garlic, cilantro, uh, some uh, veggies, the so pimientos. We have, we have a three pepper, three color peppers, and onions here. Pimientos, and then uh, sliced. Yeah, I'm gonna start with uh, putting in the pan olive oil. So you're gonna do like a, um, you're gonna pour a little bit of olive oil here in the pan to do the sauce, the criolla sauce. And then you're gonna add to the mix uh, a little bit of garlic and you're gonna uh, cook the garlic until fragrant. We're gonna add what? Then you're gonna add um, Bolsita de a little uh, packet of sazon, which is a Puerto Rican seasoning. Yeah, and you can find this in any supermarket here in the Hispanic section. And then you add sazon. We're gonna add, vamos a añadir, we're gonna incorporate a little bit of tomato sauce. Uh, this is gonna be about Half a can, it depends how much you want to use. Because this is very hot, you can turn down very down the way. And then, we're going to add milk. Then we're going to add the uh, peppers and the onions to the, to the sauce. I'm 
going to add now, voy a añadir, uh, this is uh, oregano, oregano, and you add oregano to the taste. I like oregano, it gives a good flavor to the meals, especially the soft ones. And this is cumin, comino, you're going to add a little bit of comino. And then you're going to add uh, the fresh pepper to taste and salt to taste too, okay? And then you mix everything together and let it simmer until the veggies are tender. You let this cook about, I think, five, six minutes slow. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of um, water. I think the sauce, a little bit of tomato sauce, and a little bit of water. Because, um, let me get So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Because I think the sauce is too thick and needs time to cook the veggies. So you let this um, simmer here, like I said before, like five to seven minutes. So now I'm gonna deep fry the plantains. See, I'm gonna deep fry the plantains. I'm very coconut oil, right? Coconut oil, or you can use any uh, oil that you want. It could be vegetable oil, olive oil, yeah, but I, we are going to suggest coconut oil or any veggie uh, oil that you want. This is going to be deep fried here. We're, not, we're going to deep fry it. Vamos a freír for 7 minutes. For 7 minutes. They need to be deep fried. So I'm going to take the time. Put it there. I already taken the time. It has to be seven minutes, okay? So these are the plantains that are deep frying for seven minutes. And then I'm gonna reduce the time in the uh, We're going to add to the salsa criolla cilantro, fresh cilantro. We need to turn this low, the temperature more low here. And you mix it. So this is going to be the salsa criolla. And then we're going to incorporate here the shrimps, okay? I'm going to do the mojito, the mojito mix for the uh, mojo. So for the mojito mix, uh, I already have it here. So now I'm gonna do the mojito mix that um, when I smash the plantains here in the pilon, um, I'm gonna put this mix. So for this mix is, uh, I put two garlic cloves here and I smash them. You're gonna put it here and then you smash them until you think they are and if you don't have a mortar, you can just cut it in little pieces too. Yes. And then when you have this, you're gonna, uh, I need a spoon. And then you're gonna clean this. And then you're gonna, uh, into, I melt. This is like uh, two tablespoons of butter. So it's melted. It's está derretida. And then you're gonna add the garlic. Okay, and also, and then you mix it, and then you're gonna add salt to taste, a little bit of fresh pepper to the mix, and uh, I don't wanna add any oregano cumin in this because uh, we already have it in the salsa. 
so to not put too much flavor on it and then um, when the tostones are deep fried for seven minutes we're gonna add to the pillow I'm gonna smash it here and we're gonna add the mix little by little and then we're gonna add the um, chicken broth to taste to make it more soft tender the uh, mofo mo. So I have a question, what if people don't have a, a mortar at home, what can they use to mash the plantain? Could it um, be like a plastic bowl? A plastic bowl, something. And you can mash it Or in there. Uh, a pan that oh, is hard okay. enough. A small you pan, it. you can mash it in there and mix yeah. it all and you get your mofongo as well, so you don't need a mortar to do this. Yeah, but uh, or maybe if you have a day from the Mexican people, they have here something similar. Oh, right, to make guacamole. They yeah. sell these cute little bowls. Yeah, that is made of stone, right. so maybe um, they can use that. Or, but I'm gonna suggest better go with stainless steel and uh, any pan, a small pan that you have, you can uh, do there um, to smash the contains. So now we are waiting for the um, contains to be done. And yeah, and then so I'm gonna clean up a little. Uh, I love to use this seasoning and for my cooking, if I do beans or if I want to season some meat, I always use this product. It, believe me, it's good. Um, so it, this is adobo. And I'm going to add to the uh, criolla sauce a little bit of adobo because this has some ingredients that enhance and give them more um, Puerto Rican flavor. So this is one of my secret ingredients. <laughs> and then you add a little bit of to taste. And don't worry if you're not getting the ingredients, we're gonna post the recipe down below on this video so you can have full access with uh, measurements for all the ingredients. And then now I'm going to do plantains. Yeah, los plátanos. And then um, do in the pilon. So Ooh. you're going to do, we're going to do like a mix of, um, so here you have the butter. So you're going little by little. You cannot put all the plantains. So you're going to add about three, three um, plantains. It smells so good. And then you smash it. can add a little bit of olive oil here to this nut, yes. Okay, enough. And then you um, need to taste the, the salt of this. Mm -hmm. You need to taste the salt. It's up to you how much saltiness you want to have. I think it needs a little bit more salt, un poquito más. Can I have another spoon, please? Just mix it. Thank you. We see. Think it's good. No, I think it's good. So that has garlic again, just to recap: a little bit of garlic, butter, olive oil, and salt. And, and salt. And I'm gonna add my secret ingredients. This is done. Should we add this one? Mm -hmm. Adobo. You can add a little bit of adobo to the mix. And uh, you can find the adobo also next in any supermarket here. Safeway has it, uh, Fredmeyer, Walmart. Just go to the lemon section and you'll see it there, along with this as well. I need the another spoon to be sure. And then. Now it's better. <laughs> And then you add a little bit of the mix. So like that's a, about one tablespoon. Yes, and then you continue putting more, uh, three more, three smacks. And then you start smashing and I need this. Yes, and then you're gonna add the chicken broth, veggie broth, beef broth, uh, any broth that you want. 
So and just about a tablespoon as well. Yeah, you're going to going to incorporate the ingredients little by little. And then you're gonna add three more. A little bit of the mojito, the sauce that has butter, garlic, salt, pepper, adobo, and a little bit of the broth. Now you start smashing. It could be vegetable broth, chicken, beef broth, any broth you would like to use. It's just to soften the plantain and make it really uh, smooth and soft and really yummy. And then do it. Two more, three more. Finish a little bit of the sauce, a little bit of broth, and keep mashing away. Yeah. And now we're going to start doing the shrimps, put in there with the Kyoya sauce. Okay. Would you like me to do that? Yes. Would you want to please? So just drop it in there? Yep. Yeah. And let it cook for three minutes. So see, I have too much uh, liquid here, so I'm gonna put another one and mix it. So uh, incorporate into the mix the plantains. This is kind of messy. I, I always like to wear gloves to do the um, mofongo and yes please and I'm gonna need a spoon to take it out and then here's a plate ah, yeah and let's wait for the shrimps to be done now do it like this and uh, you can give any shape that you want, but I'm gonna make like a bowl because we're gonna put uh, at the top the shrimps. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna mix it with oh, okay. So then um, I'm gonna do another mofongo. So I start smashing with the uh, plantains, a little bit of broth, and then you smash it. It's like doing uh, mashed potatoes, but this case is going to be plantains. Exactly. Okay, so you add more, a little bit of the sauce. Good. And how many plantains? So it depends how big you want the mofongo. Three by three, sauce, broth, and smash. Um, the shrimps are almost done, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, drain them. Yeah. You need to check that um, all the plantains are. Um, well smashed and it's not see i found here one that is not too smashed and then i'm gonna add i'm gonna smash it again now you want it to be soft and buttery and smooth together this is gonna be our late lunch today and just do the take it out it will come you can give any shape that you want. You can put it right there. Okay. So now, uh, when we finish mash smashing the plantains with the mojito and the broth, you're gonna uh, add the salsa criolla. Okay, you add the salsa criolla at the top of the mofongo, and then you add the shrimps. Añadimos los camarones. Okay. And then um, we're going to add another shrimp here. And uh, we can take with the tongue some peppers for decoration. 
Disney. Ah ouais, c'est cadeau. And uh, another orange one. That's it. Uh -huh. And you can add a little bit of sauce if you want. I like this sauce a lot. It gives a lot of flavor. So then you, um, we have here the mofongo. And then to serve this plate, um, we have here a fresh salad to complement. So I'm gonna add here a little bit of the salad and uh, talk about the dressing. Yeah, and for this, uh, for this dressing and to eat the uh, mofongo, we always do like a, a mix. This is um, mayo ketchup, homemade. And to do this um, sauce, is mayonnaise, ketchup, a little bit of mustard, and uh, we need uh, to add a little bit of the, um, this is um, garlic powder. So you add a little bit to uh, add a little bit of more flavor. Poquito. Mm -hmm. And then you add uh, Tabasco to add more spicy. But it's not hot, it's only flavors. So you add Tabasco. Just a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's up to you. If you like um, very spicy food, but then you can add more. So and then you mix. This is the mayo ketchup. The mayo ketchup is the staple of the island, right? Yes, and uh, but homemade, no, no, no the one from the can. So this is mayonnaise, ketchup, a little bit of mustard, and then uh, a little bit of Tabasco, and um, garlic uh, powder, no salt, powder. And you mix it well together. Inside this uh, green salad, you add the salad with the greens, oops. And then, and this is our fresh greens with red onions, tomatoes, and avocado. That is very traditional uh, from the island. And then you're gonna add mayo ketchup. And you can add in all the plate here like this. And over the um, mofongo a little bit. Uh, because this is the way we eat it at the island. And that's it. This is the um, mofongo. This mashed plantains with shrimps and a green salad. I hope you like it. You're done? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Move it here. It's okay. Well done.